Okay, so I'm still getting used to the whole making videos and like talking. I don't know. So I feel like my first videos have been kind of weird slightly. And so I'm going to try and be more normal. But on this clip, I just want to go through my last pregnancy. I'm going to I'm gonna try and put like the photos in order by week because I try to take a picture like every week so you can kind of see like how big I was progressively. Uh, don't mind my hair changes. <laughs> that happens a lot. Uh, so yeah, and then I'll just kind of talk about it. So this is nine weeks. This is kind of before I was showing. Twelve weeks, still not really showing. Fifteen weeks, probably showing, but you can't really tell because I can hide it with loose shirts. By nineteen weeks, definitely can't hide it. Starting to get big. Kind of like the cute big. 20 weeks, feeling good, halfway, looking cute, like nice little baby bump. Probably one of my funner stages of pregnancy. Morning sickness was gone. This is 21 weeks. It's a girl. That's when we found out. At 15 weeks, I thought it was a boy, so it was kind of fun to find out it's a girl. 25 weeks. This picture, my belly looks like the weirdest shape. I don't know. It must be the shirt or how my baby was sitting, but... Then 26 weeks, starting to get kind of big, still feeling pretty cute. 30 weeks, feeling big. You can see it on my face. Not enjoying it as much. The last 10 weeks were rough. But this picture I really like. I need to fix like the background so it's a little bit more blurred, but it's a cool, cool idea to do the silhouette. And then this is when I took like my maternity pictures. My husband's uncle took him, he did a good job. Um, just large. Yeah, this was just like maybe a couple weeks before I had the baby is all. So that was kind of my pregnancy. It was good. I only had morning sickness from weeks about 8 to 13. So not like a huge amount. I wasn't like super sick. I didn't throw up a ton. Well, really at all. I was nauseous like all the time. I lived on Tums and saltines, and and after that I was pretty good. I, I didn't throw up until I was in labor. When I was in labor at home, I threw up, and I was so mad. I was like, I didn't throw up my whole pregnancy. <laughs> so that was kind of frustrating, but overall it was pretty good. Uh, hopefully with my next one, I hope to not gain quite as much weight. I gained a lot of weight in my thighs and in my butt. And so now I'm seven and a half months after baby and I weigh a lot less. I think I ended my pregnancy at about 165. Right now I weigh about 116. So I've lost a lot of weight. Before I got pregnant I weighed about 126, no, 129 probably. So I've lost more than 10 pounds extra, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Um, Go ahead and just look up from a nap, so I guess she's going to be in my next little clip here. Um, so I don't have... I wish I would have taken some pictures that were like progressive post-pregnancy. Like I did like every week during pregnancy. I kind of wish I would have done like each week or every few weeks after pregnancy to kind of show how much weight I had been losing or like size differences. But I didn't really do that, but I do have a couple pictures from the last couple months that kind of show like how much weight I've lost so let me show you those so this is me at my friend's baby shower yes me and Gwen are kind of matching I like to do that it's fun but you can see how much skinnier I am and then this is me yeah that's in the gym's bathroom but I was feeling good that day and like my arms are a lot skinnier my thighs everything's looking a lot skinnier so some of the things that I did to lose weight, I think the first thing that really helped me was breastfeeding. You burn a lot of calories doing that and besides the other benefits of like bonding and the health benefits for the baby, I really I really enjoyed it. We're still doing it along with baby foods, which is fun. But um, when she was born, she was born August 28th and so it was still pretty warm here and we would go on walks in her stroller every day. Her her stroller has like the thing where you can like click the car seat into it so she could sit in the car seat part and face me and then I could put the cover over it and 
she could like stay out of the sun or the wind if there was any which was nice so and I had maternity leave from work for four months so we were able to go on walks and just be outside for for a few weeks at least and then once I was cleared for my doctor to exercise I got a gym membership and then we started going there I just started really small because I was worried about losing my milk I didn't I didn't want that and so I tried to like drink extra water when I would work out and I tried to just like kind of progressively increase how much I did and how intensely I worked out like on the treadmill or I would lap swim and um, it's been really good the gym that I go to has a nursery so she can go in there which I think is also really good she they have like a baby corner and under one year old corner where the babies go and the other kids can't get to them which is nice but it's good for her to be around other people besides just me and family so that she kind of I don't know learns to not be shy I guess I don't know uh, but I really like it and that that's really all I've been doing I didn't really change my diet all the time I'm when you're nursing it's kind of like you're pregnant like you're still always hungry because you're burning so many calories but um, I drink a lot of Dr. Pepper still I try to limit myself to I mean as far as caffeine intake I won't drink more than one a day but I try to limit myself to two a week sometimes I end up with three or four but it happens <laughs> I really like Dr. Pepper I think you like it you like it <laughs>